With us now is environmental advocate Philippe Cousteau, president of Earth Echo International. Good morning. Good morning. So what is the impact of all of this, and especially the uh, impact on the ecosystem? Well, you know, what, what's first and foremost important to remember, Charlie, is that this was an unpreventable disaster, the tsunami, and it's still affecting the lives and livelihoods of millions of people in Japan. It's, it's still an environmental and social disaster. But marine debris as a whole is preventable, and this is a, a stark reminder of a much bigger problem. Marine debris is, is polluting and trashing our oceans all over the world. So, so as you look at that, Philippe, the, the debris around the world, let's focus on this particular field, though. What within this massive amount of debris concerns you the most? Well, the unpredictable nature of it, and that's you know, what you heard in, in that report with the scientists. We just don't know exactly what exists out there that makes this so unique. Parts of houses, lumber, cars, even refrigerators could be floating out there. And exactly where it's going and, and how those dynamics work with ocean currents is, is still relatively a young science. So we really don't know a lot about where it's going to show up, how much is going to show up. But as you heard, we, we think that some of it will start showing up in uh, probably in the outer Hawaiian Islands, like Midway Island, this March, and then continue on for the next year to year and a half. Realistically, how much could be done before that? I mean, could things, is there any way to get in there and, and take some of this debris out, especially the items that you're most concerned about? Well, you know, there could be hazardous waste, uh, certainly uh, dangerous materials that are floating in that debris field. And it's very, very difficult because of the nature of the, the way the oceans work and the, now how spread out over thousands of miles that debris is, it's really difficult to go in and, and remove any of that debris effectively. So a lot of it right now is just a, a wait and see game. And it's kind of scary and again, reminds us of, of this bigger issue of ocean pollution. Uh, the GPS allows us to track it all, does it not? Well, again, unfortunately, it's so spread out initially when the uh, debris was concentrated off the coast of Japan. Satellites were able to track it. But now that a few million tons of debris has spread out over thousands of miles, some of it is suspended just below the ocean. So it's very, very difficult to track it with any kind of GPS. It's really a, a, a relatively new, unpredictable science. All of these currents, a lot of people forget that the oceans are a dynamic place and that there are so many different currents and eddies and wind patterns can affect them. And it's, uh, it's almost impossible to predict with any extreme accuracy where those different debris uh, will end up. Philippe Cousteau, good to see you again and thank you for joining us. Thanks, Charlie. Thanks for having me.